So if a man say, I love God and hateth his brother or his sister, parents, uncles, whatever, neighbors, co-workers, former teammates in volleyball, whatever it was. If a man say, I love God and hateth his brother, he's a liar. Because if you've really met God, he should be filling you with his love. But you don't know what those people did to me. You're right, but God does. And he'll help you love them if you'll let him. Doesn't mean you necessarily have tea and biscuits with him, but at least you'll learn how to love him. It's true. If a man say, I love God and hateth his brother, he's a liar. For he that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen, how, how then can you love God whom you've not seen? That's a pretty tight argument. And this commandment which we have from him, that he who loveth God should loveth his brother also. It's that simple. We have a world that is getting increasingly divided. Am I the only one seeing this? Increasingly polarized, increasingly sort of, um, should we say, you know, balkanized for lack of a better way to put it. This is our camp, us four no more, hit the highway. Definitely a good time for God's people to walk in his love because that's something most of them sadly are really missing. Speaks louder than you know, which is why Satan tries to attack it so much in your walk with God.